to Conrad Hotel at Resorts World in Las Vegas. We are here with you today, so excited to share this experience with you. We're gonna give you a full overview of the resort, as well as the room here. We are staying in a beautiful suite and it's all brand new. We cannot wait to show you. I love this living space. It is wide open. We have a beautiful view of the strip, which we're gonna show you later. And really it's a place for people to gather. If you have you know, family here or friends, you can all kind of go into this room and enjoy watching a show, watching a game that's on, have the privacy of your own group common space. It is so nice here in Las Vegas, especially for my introverts out there which I am not, but my husband is. And so it's always really nice to have kind of a safe haven to come back where you can still have people over, interact and enjoy the evening without all of Vegas kind of right there in your space. Charging kit, it's always nice of them to include as well as an intimacy kit, ladies and gentlemen, and however you identify yourself as. You can have champagne gummy bears, which how cool is that? I mean, that's a pretty awesome upgrade. I'd say if you're gonna have gummy bears, you may as well have champagne gummy bears. Love the color scheme. I'm a sucker for grays. Side note, I wanted gray to be a wedding color during our wedding, but it didn't happen that way. Long story. But look at this, little pop of color. I love the art in here. It is pretty and interesting without being overtly agenda driven. I feel like a lot of the artwork in Las Vegas hotels sometimes, especially like at the Cosmo or even where we were just at, it's like has some overtones, some very intense overtones, but here it's very light, flowery, kind of reminds me a little bit more of like the Encore or Win vibe. <laughs> so here we have the bedroom, which you can close off entirely from the common space. So helpful, especially if like you're traveling with younger kids and they need to have a quiet place to take a nap or older kids, you know, sometimes we all need a nap. This is a great space. Love the red. You can never go wrong with red in the bedroom. So I definitely love the red in here. It blends just so well, but the main event is over here. You can open up these drapes, open up the shears, and guess what? You have a view from this couch or from the bed of the strip. Amazing. I love the space in this bedroom. This is almost the size of like a normal hotel room, just this bedroom. So it's really amazing, especially if like us, you have different calls, conference calls, or work that you're doing, or you wanna watch two different TV shows. You have two different ginormous TVs, so everyone can get their needs met. That sounded funny. Time to test out the bed. It's oh, nice. So now from the master bedroom, we come into the master bathroom. Yes, there are two bathrooms here again, of course, just like a lot of the other big suites that we've toured here in Vegas. This one has two options for sinks, so everybody gets their own sink. Pretty cool. They're also definitely trying to be eco-friendly. You can tell by the products that they're using. They're trying to have reusable bottles instead of the little throwaway bottles, which I really like and I think is really awesome. This bathtub is epic. I love how there's so much space around it and it really is the main attraction of this room. You can't help but be essentially drawn in and we've got is this included this is so cute we have duck soap i've never had one of these before that's so cute i wonder if it floats then you also have of course a shower i love again how they're tying in the red of resort world but i am a neutrals girl in my living space i really love neutral colors grays and tans so this for me now we're in the, as Jeremy called it, in the Venetian suite tour, the get ready room. So we have our closet, lots of space. Initially in the room, I was wondering where the closet is. It's separate from the bedroom, but it's its own room. So who's complaining? Nobody. Slippers and robes 
obviously typically included in this kind of hotel experience, but it always is just so nice, especially after a long day of walking around on the strip, going to parties, going to activities to kind of take some time for yourself, go to the spa, relax, feel cozy, all that. The only Las Vegas hotel that I've been in, not only can you not smell any smoke in this room, which I love, it's amazing. It's so refreshing. I love that because there's so much smoke everywhere else in Las Vegas, I feel like. But in these rooms, you really want it to be your safe haven. But also, there's a real live plant. They decided that they would keep a plant alive in the room for us. Like, that's the next step. This is amazing. An actual plant in your room. I am so excited about this. Like, this might be the star of this room, in my opinion. And to conclude, we're back in the common area where, of course, all of your guests need to have a restroom that's not yours that they can use in the common space. How does a vegan feel sitting inside of an egg? Conflicted! I can't eat anything here. Ready? Look at this thing. All the things I, I can't eat. I just got the, the typical bacon, egg, and cheese on a brioche. Here you go. Recommended temperature on the egg. Here we go. Very tasty, barbecue sauce, lots of bacon. <laughs> mm. Not good? Okay, overall rating and in comparison to egg slap. Very, very similar to egg slap. They almost copied them in a way. I would have enjoyed some variety, but Great breakfast. Vegas prices, it was like 10 bucks for the sandwich. So I talked to some strangers because I'm an extrovert. And while we were eating the egg sandwich, while Jeremy was eating the egg sandwich, I was finding out all the details. Basically, in summary, the show with Carrie Underwood was incredible. And the popcorn was small and the margaritas were so so. So popular and here at the resorts world you have street food vendors inside the casino inside the hotel and we're going to show you a few of them
Craig's vegan ice cream. Super excited to dive into that. It's actually LA based brand um, and most of it's gluten free, which is really amazing. So Resort World really is three hotels in one. So that's the first thing to know. You'll be staying either at the Hilton, the Conrad or Crockford's and they're all kind of intermingled in this common space. If you know anything about me, if you've watched our Cancun videos, you know I love big resorts and this definitely is that feeling. There is an entire mall in the resort. So shopping, food, there's every kind of food you can imagine from street food to fine dining and everything in between. They have a lot of brands here that are from kind of Asian persuasion, I guess you could say. And I think the brand itself, if I'm not mistaken, is Asian. And so there's a lot of that kind of persuasion going on. In addition to some places, a lot of places from like LA based. So like where we're at now, the vegan ice cream, as well as Wally is right across the way. It's a wine place with like really light uh, food and uh, it's from Beverly Hills and we just love it. It's a really fun place, very immersive, very engaging. They have six different bars, four different entertainment venues, and they have 17 places to get food and drinks all over. They have 22 retail stores. You could just stay here. You don't even have to go anywhere else. I think that's their goal. And they have five pools, five different pools. Incredible. I got the peanut butter, peanut butter crunch, peanut butter chocolate chip. It's really nice. I wish I could share it with you. What did you do? <laughs> I don't know. $77. <laughs> you can get vegan, a vegan uh, Sunday, $77 if you want. Gazing at the blue of the night Stars are filling up the sky You take my hand in yours We'll make our own constellations I could say how much you mean To me, but it won't mean a thing Cause words never sound quite right Let's find our own kind of the whole world. Fun little area out here. Lots of pools. There's like five pools. The beach club's like completely separate. And they've got a lot of little, um, these little uh, seats in the water. Really cool. show you inside because it's clothing optional so that doesn't really work for our YouTube channel and um, the gym is really amazing but it is again it's like really hard to get to and it's kind of tucked away in the back so I actually liked it it felt like more private and chill um, than some other gyms but pretty cool check them out just finished eating at F-U-H-U who who I don't know how to say it Write in the comments below if you know how to say it. But honestly, we were comparing this restaurant to Wing Lei, and I think this restaurant won based on the dishes that we've got. The drinks were fantastic. Really enjoyed their creative take on uh, some of the traditional the Chinese drinks that were incorporated with like a modern fusion. Really interesting. But the truffle king crab fried rice, oh my gosh, lovely. And I had a little bit of Valley's vegan king mushroom uh, carrot 
seafoam thing and it was like great. I loved it. Had an eggplant puree. It was like lovely. Fantastic. Great idea, by the way. Um, snow crab California roll. Can't say no to that. That was nice. With a little extra wasabi, I would, might add. And what else did I have, babe? Oh, I had cod miso with some crunchy stuff on it. Uh, like a lettuce wrap. It was a bit pricey. I'm still kind of weighing the, the contemplative contemplative price of like $9 a bite, but I enjoyed it a lot. So there's that. Uh, would we rate this place uh, in terms of Chinese food, high-end Chinese food on the strip? I would say it's probably in the top five, maybe top three in our bucket list. I really loved that the waiter and the staff understood gluten. They brought me my own soy sauce that doesn't have gluten in it, which is a big deal because soy sauce has gluten. So there are a lot of things they did so well. The service was incredible. Really, really great. I would actually say this is on par with Nobu, which is a lot to say because Nobu has a Michelin star, but I think this place deserves it. Everything had great texture. It was intentional. Even my like uh, vegan sushi roll had crunchy stuff on the top, cooked uh, bell pepper on it, which was amazing. Avocado and uh, asparagus in it. So it was really, really good. And I would say the vegetables honestly did remind me of like Nobu quality. Again, like Jeremy said, I would actually say this place, I enjoyed it more than Wing Lei because it had way more options for me. Wing Lei is much more about the meat and cooking these extravagant meats, but here they're like, yeah, if you're vegan, we got a lot of options for you. So I love that.